not quite ready. They're not quite ready. It will be soon, hopefully. I'm really interested, actually. I'm really interested in what happens. It sounds like a lot of you are as well, based off uh, what I said yesterday, which is brilliant. Anything to do with experimenting. I'm doing the 3R race as well tonight, the 3R Wahoo race. It's a shame about Strava, isn't it? Well, ah, say a shame. It's like... What you get in it? Right down. Yeah, eighteen hundred watts incoming, no issues. Steady. Make sure we're all set up okay. Grab a towel, grab a drink. Yep, bike is there. So we had a rest day yesterday, which uh, was probably more likely to help in a, in a sprint workout than a um, than any other thing for me, at least. Yeah, 18 more, 18 hundred watts total, yeah. Okay, so, uh, as you can see, this session, kind of designed it myself, but um, there's, a few, there's a few things in here. Um, we're doing six sprints, which probably doesn't sound like a lot, but for someone like myself who, who hasn't been doing any sprint training, uh, six sprints will probably take a lot out to me, as you can probably imagine. So they are going to be maximal effort um, and going to require a lot of effort. So I'm going to use Erg mode for the warm up and then I'm going to switch Erg mode off and then ride you know, to whatever I need to ride at. Um, I'm not going to be too bothered about sticking to the correct power between the sprints. Um, because this, like the sprints are the sprints, like they are the main things, and uh, it's just about recharging uh, as best as I can between them. So the warm up, ramp warm up, nothing, nothing major, and then five minutes of steady riding, and then we're going for the sprint. So the first sprint is fifteen seconds at eight five seven. So is the second one, so is the third one. And then, although the other three are the same as well, the difference being the first three are just general sprints as you'd do you know, normal sprints. And then the others are um, bigger gear sprints. So I've got to be honest, I think, is that where I can amend it? No, I can't amend it. All right. We'll leave it at that. I would rather it be, be 10 seconds. I don't know why I've got 15. Maybe it was in the middle of something. Anyway, we'll just roll with it. We'll just roll with it. Uh, so let's get started. Let's get started. Um, whoop. Why should we go? Good circuit for this. Oh, we'll just use London because we know it's pan flat. 
uh, I'm nice and boring and it's going to be a lot different to what we're doing tonight that's pretty hilly Ooh, I don't think we've done that one I don't think we've done it that way let's go on that one let's go on that one Greater London Flat and yeah and the recovery is 7 minutes Ryan 7 minutes so it's quite a lot it's quite a lot uh, yeah I'm doing the race tonight Hang on, let me just get started here, guys. I'll get chatting to you then. Let's go. Start climbing. Oh, don't worry about the ceramic speed thing. Uh, Andrew, I just wanted to give myself a target, so I probably won't even get to 860 uh, for 15 seconds. I might peak at it, but I won't be able to hold it. So I've just picked a number at random around that area that I know is roughly manageable. But they're basically all out. They're basically all out. You don't have to give yourself numbers it's too short to be looking for you know sitting at an exact number yeah I've had breakfast just a small bowl of cereal and a banana Yeah, I could have put in 15 seconds of free ride in there. But, I'm only using Erg mode for the warm up. Yeah, we have Caden's target, so the first, the first, um, the first three sprints are just normal sprints. So we're going to do them all from a standing start, but kind of normal cadence. Um, so that'll be like whatever I feel comfortable with. And then the last three will be uh, big here. So punching straight off the line, and they, they'll be really low power probably. So I won't see 
Now, you have to remember, guys, I'm useless at sprinting. So, what you're going to see is not going to be impressive at all. Like, if you want to see impressive sprints, don't watch me. What you're watching is a man who's crap at something. I was trying to get better at it. <laughs> so hopefully, by doing them, I'll be putting in place the blocks to become better. And you're going to remember that this is inside. Our max 5 second power ever is, I think, like 1150. It's our best max 5 second. I can do it outdoors. I'm huge. I'm hugely better. No, we're not going to be worried about the watts, Mike. We're not going to be worried about the watts. The watts don't mean anything. These are the training sessions, so they're just maximum. But the reason why I say we're doing these indoors because it's measurable and manageable over the next two weeks. Because that's where we're going to be indoors. So I compared it to the last 30 days and what we're like the last 30 days. No point in. I don't want to be introducing short recoveries like that, really. I mean, the one session I do have is 20 seconds on, 
1 minute 40 off times 4 but it's nothing as short as what you said because I don't want to be working that I want to be working maximum snap 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 nothing else I don't want to be working fatigue sprint nothing just bang fresh It's like what? I'll explain to you in a minute where I got my sessions from. You know what sprints? I'm not gonna be an erg. Jason Kenny. <laughs> Lol. The Jason Kenny. No Josh, my baseline is taken off of my best 30 second effort. Sorry, sprint effort for the last 30 days. That's the timeline we're working with. So, the reason why I'm not doing one today is because we're doing a session today anyway. Got a fixed gear bike. Love it. Like a proper fixed gear road bike. Drop on the bars, brakes. Big descents on it. Big climbs. Okay. Take myself out of erg mode. And we got free ride. Not too bothered about the wattage here. It really doesn't matter. Same as uh, same as the rests in between, the seven minute rests. Doesn't really matter. Not for this workout. So some of these sessions, I'm going to go into where I got them from. Well, I got them from a number of places. Um, I've, I've taken them from a number of websites. There's a couple from. There's a couple of. It's more like inspirations rather than a, a copy and paste. But we're looking at. We're looking at Trainer Road. We're going to train and peak some articles they did there. We also looked at some. Uh, some research papers as well, which Charlie helped me out with. Um, because 
she's pretty good at all that with all the research she's been doing recently. Um, and we've also been seeking advice from a couple of friends who, well, one of them went to um, the Rio, Rio Olympics for the women's team pursuit, um, which is obviously short term power. And then um, another guy who um, represented Wales and a medalist of the Commonwealth Games for track sprinting. So, some pretty decent, uh, some pretty decent advice and some wise heads there. <laughs> Nobody cares about stars, Ben. <laughs> well, I don't. I created the workout. I know if I've done it properly or not. I don't need Zwift to tell me if I've done the workout properly. Um, yeah, so my peak power that I've done over the last couple of months outside has been around 1050, um, and that was with a really high cadence. So I can do it, it's not that I can't do it, I can do it, but only if I'm A, very highly motivated to be like outside going for a sprint finish, which is what it was, it was a straight face with a group of us. So this is completely different, obviously it's indoors, but this is the specificity of it. This is the specifics of it. We're going for indoor power, which obviously matters for Zwift racing, because even though I can do 11 under outside, I can't do it inside, obviously. So this is the, this is the meat of it. So, we're attempting to do some decent sprints indoors to see how we improve in two weeks. And that's using a mixture of standing starts, strength intervals, high cadence intervals, and normal sprints, and a couple of like, well, what you call <coughs> those, um, oh my word. I can hear my left ear. Oh! It's a miracle! Oh my word. Okay, we've got 15 seconds. Whoa! Let's go! Normal sprint. Slowing down, slowing down, slowing down. This isn't going to be from a standing start, but it's going to have to do. One. What was that like? I saw 700. <laughs> 8 or 9. Oh, that's not too bad. <laughs> not too bad. So, with me talking there, see how fast five minutes passed? So, these intervals, seven minutes of recovery in between them. That's actually a lot of, it's, well, it seems like a lot of recovery. But the time passes so quick. So, you know, we're talking 200 watt loss between indoor and outdoor, roughly, at the minute. So, um, I mean, that's almost like a warm-up sprint in a way. So we'll see what we get. I've had a couple of mess, well, the video that I put out last night got some really good comments. Um, some of them I've made notes on, because the thing is, we're not all experts, are we? And what I love about it is, you know, at the end of this year, for example, I could go, here's our next target, and it's going to be a hill climb. And, you know, 
a lot of you would assume I'm an expert in it. And just because I'm good at it doesn't mean I'm an expert at it. And um, when it comes to sprinting, obviously I'm not an expert at it. And I call to people and things like that, but it's, it's we, we all learn every day is a school day. So when I do these workouts, I'm putting myself in your shoes and realizing that, oh, well, actually, these are, these are really difficult. And really difficult to train as well. Nice one, Phil. What time was that? That must have been super early. Fair play to you. <laughs> gorilla locks all the way. That's a cool little emoji. I love that little gorilla. <laughs> Phil, you need to stop drinking those pig monsters, dude. That's what's making you get up so early. Out on the bike. You went outside. Yeah, but guys, Phil might have a lot of work on his plate, so... It's very difficult, isn't it? It's very difficult. If he's doing a four hour bike ride, then it's different to doing a one hour interval section, so. Yeah, well, Sam, um, I don't know if you missed what I said earlier, but um, I've been in chats with good friends who was very successful at the Commonwealth Games for Wales as a track sprinter. And, uh, you know, if you, when you take the gym side out of it, which that obviously plays a part, um, I, can't, I can't do gym stuff now. And I'd much rather keep it focused on the bike because a lot of you might only want to do bike stuff. You know, you don't want to get it too complicated where right? you know, you're doing bike stuff and gym stuff. Something I told somebody the other day was they wanted, they just started my training plan and they wanted to go and jump into the gym and do all these other things. And I was like, whoa, hang on a minute. You're giving your body a stimulus already, a new stimulus by jumping into a new cycling plan. Don't then go to the gym and do a lot of other stuff at the same time because you're mixing two things at once and your body's going to be like screaming at you for all this overload. This is not just bike overload, obviously, it's just general overload. So, yeah. I feel like these sprints, I feel like any sprint, some of you might, might, uh, might back me up on this, I don't know, but I feel like any sprint will help me. I gotta be honest, I feel like any sprint um, training, because I don't do it. I'm predominantly slow to twitch, as most of us think. And uh, I think it's worth just seeing what happens, you know, if we just concentrate on the bike. Yeah, another one minute to the next sprint. Nice one, Philip. Nice one. Yeah, so it's going to be 14 days. So it's going to be right in between that 10 and 20, 10 and 20 day. Oh, sorry, Mike. I mean, microphone, not Mike, as in. Okay. There's the red little flag thing. Slow down to a, a standard start type. Woof. Woof. 
Here we go. Let's have a slight incline. This is fun. Huh. Yeah, definitely we'll have a squat off. Ooh, there's a big drop there. 50 watts. But in saying that, it doesn't really mean anything. Because we might get 850 in the next one. <laughs> it's so it's so variable is what I've noticed. Plus I guess it all depends on the slight terrain you've got. Yeah, I'm in a little group here now, so I don't have to ride. But it, it's interesting, you know, we look at the power on the top, and I'm only doing like you know 750 watts. But if you look at the watts per kilo, the watts per kilo are like 12, 13, so I'm getting very, what, what's happening already, because this is like a test in its, way, in its own way, so I'm doing these sprints, and although they're you know, maximal sprints, I'm also data collecting, so we found out now that I dropped 50 watts for my second one. The average though, might be really close, but, well, it is fairly close. But the the third one now could be in the middle of those two numbers. And what we learn is even though my max sprint for 15 seconds, which is what I quoted in the video yesterday, um, is yes I know I know sprinters don't look at the watts per kilo. But when it comes to a sprint in Swift, you've got to have that punch, you know. The punch to have like a high watt per kilo to get that initial snap. So the only way to make it measurable, I've done it both ways. I've done it by saying, we want to take a 750 watt, is it 750 watt 15 second to an 800 watt 15 second, but make it, well, to be honest, make it repetitive then. So we've already done, well, we've done 13 watts per kilo. We're looking at doing 14, or above to 15 seconds over the next two weeks. Well, funny you say that, Scott, and on an all serious note, the guy who I've been talking to, who, um, who went to the Commonwealth Games, he's, he's been retired now for a couple of years, um, and obviously as an ex track sprinter, well, he weighs like 103 kilos, and uh, you know he's, he's done a bit of rugby, so he's almost done like the reverse of what you've done. <laughs> um, I know, Adrian. I saw your comment. I know, Adrian. I saw your comment. But um, I'm also there to provide entertainment, as well as winning the race. So if we can't win the race, we've got to provide entertainment. Um, so I 100%. 100% agree with what you say, 100%. Um, but these races are so short that when I sit in and I sprint, and I've, like you say, I've already proved it as far as I'm aware when I qualified for the British uh, e-racing championships when I sprinted to like a length place in a massive group um, on Zwift. So it's there and it's doable. But, uh, but you're right, yeah, 100% agree. So anyway, this 105 uh, kilo sprinter, he now can still do like massive amount of watts. But when it comes to doing like a yeah, 20 minute effort, he's doing like, you know, two and a half, three watts per kilo. Hmm. 
Well, I do know, Adrian, I do know what I can do. And I can get top tens. But I can't win the bike race. I can't win the bike race. Just like I can't win a bike race outdoors. Tonight's 3R Wahoo race goes up the Innsbruck KOM, so big climb, descent, over the leg snapper, and then finishes in the centre of Innsbruck. So that could be one we try it on, but for sure it's going to split to, to smithereens on that KOM. Not because of me, but guaranteed that you know, it's going to split apart. Off you go, Phil. <laughs> okay, last. This effort now will be the middle effort. Yeah, busy day for you, Scott. Get on it. Will do. I'll try I'll try a slightly smaller gear. See if I can get on top of the cooker. Got you. Got you. Let's give that one a go this one. Can I just say it's very nice to see my sprint is just a block. That's good. I don't want to see none of this spike spiky stuff. Alright, time to slow down, get that flywheel down the speed a little bit, still going quite quick, but what can we do? Well these kit, I'll tell you, tell you after the sprint. Oh, there we go. That's not so bad. So, the middle one was lower. The middle one was lower. No, cheers, cheers Adrian. I appreciate your, uh, I appreciate your input. I really do. Yeah, so, that, well, those first three were kind of normal. I know bike friends are saying, let's get that cadence up. But these aren't supposed to be high cadence sprints. Um, these are supposed to be normal sprints. So basically self-selected, whatever you feel comfortable with. So I'm doing, I'm starting in a reasonable gear. I want to get on top of it, I change gear. I think on top of that I change gear, so that you'll inevitably see the drop because you're grappling with the gear for someone like me. I'm grappling with the gear because I'm not naturally adapted to it. Yes, Philip, I'm changing up as I go through the sprint. Now, a good sprinter would probably never change up. They might change up once or twice, but in reality, you know, they're up to speed. You know, these are standing starts, so... Well, they're not actually standing starts, but you know what I mean. In reality, I wouldn't be sprinting from a standing start. But the idea behind the session of these sprints is to build that, to get to that end goal. So, this is where it fits in at the minute. And the next set... You know, that, that now is going to be probably our max power for today. We're not going to, we're not going to beat the 810 or whatever it was. I'm not going to be... 
I'm not probably not going to be hitting that now because these next sprints are going to be lower wattages but from a huge well biggest gear or 53.13 is what's recommended or bigger uh, stand and start so we're going to go from that and build over 10-15 seconds I'm, I'm already winning as far as I'm concerned you know, you've got to take the positives from this as far as I'm concerned I'm already winning because usually I can't sprint for 15 seconds it's a long time for me 15 seconds is a long sprint so even just build up that like momentum of 15 seconds is hard I can sprint for 10 or maybe 11 you know and lower but it's just ha it's almost like almost feels like I'm hanging on just like if you guys were doing a 20 minute effort and you get to like 60 minutes and you're like ah oh, I gotta hang on for another four minutes you know I know it's a completely different thing because it's a whole it's a whole four minutes but it's the same kind of fatigue um, well, it's different fatigue but it's the same kind of uh, problem that I'm getting so that problem is trying to be addressed um, by doing these Anyway, what's the plan? What's the plan today, guys? What are you up to? Talk to me. We've got all this free time. Do you know what we noticed? Do you know what we noticed? Do you remember last week when we did the um, the race that finished up the volcano? Um, and the, well, it almost turned into like a 30 second sprint. What I noticed there was, I almost did my best ever 30 second sprint. Just in that short, well, in that race and indoors as well. So, we're, we're getting somewhere, I feel. Even riding indoors and doing these drift races and putting myself in a position, um, I do feel like I'm getting somewhere. Uh, Josh, I'll see you on the start line. My ears popped. Oh, you can cheer. Yay, Hopefully it won't go bad again. I think we might put some more stuff in though. Yeah, no says doing the four days, so we'll follow the instructions on that. Oh, a double run day, nice. Are you going for a run today? No. Uh, no, I'm... Charlie's baking, Charlie's baking another cake today. Yeah. Not for me though. Is he is he's the mistake because she's been hard at one of her own? And it's sad to celebrate your birthday on your own. Uh, the race later, unfortunately, is at twenty to eight. I mean it's prime swift racing viewing time. I was like to ask a quiz on my own. But it's uh You were meant to be a quiz master. I know. Yeah. Bad, bad Are we hosting it? Yeah. Oh, oh I've got another sprint coming. Alright, here we go. Big gear. I'm going to slow enough as it is. So it's uh, one, two, three. Okay, we're in 53.13. Nice one, Kev. We're here for some sprint inspiration. Alright. Here you go. 10k an hour. <clears throat> so, taking us forever to get to this uh, banner, but. <laughs> Try and time this right. Alright. Dumped in the trainer. <laughs> oh, 
Bye friends, this is the uh, this is the idea of this sprint session. We're not doing high cadence in this one. It feels really weird inside, I gotta be honest. <laughs> it's not so bad outside doing big gear starts, because you can throw the bike under you. Yeah, that's, that's right Keith, I basically, that's, that's, the, that's the simplest way of putting it. I don't have the strength to get that gear over. Because here's a, here's a cool story, and I haven't forgotten, I will be doing story time videos um, for those of you that want them. Uh, we're going to go as far back as like 2014 when we were going to Australia for training camps. And... We were doing, I don't know if any of you have heard of Felix English, you must have heard of Felix English. He was a big, big guy in the crit scene. Um, like, some Irish background. And Felix was, Felix was like notoriously like big punch on him. Uh, big punch and so we were in Australia for a training camp one year and we, we, we were like about two hours into an endurance ride or something we all pulled over the side of the road um, and John, John Herity our, our boss at the time he got out of the little van and you know we all had some we, had, we all had a refuel and everything and it was going to be like a five hour ride that day and so we sat at the side of the road for a couple of minutes and we were like, right, we're going to do some sprints now and we're going to team up the strongest sprinters with the weakest sprinters. So I teamed up with Felix and the idea was that we would um, roll down, and th this road now is like, it's like as straight as this road. Dead straight for like a good couple of kilometers. And it was like little rollers like that and you could see other riders in the group. So we started doing these efforts and what all happened was John would drive behind us all and we'd group up in our pairs and he'd blast the horn and then the sprinter would be in front of the, of the weaker sprinter, the, the strong sprinter would be in front of the weaker sprinter and then we'd both sprint and I tried to hold on to Felix's wheel I kid you not, because they were from a standing start almost, I kid you not, the guy would put about five bike lengths into me before I'd even got a full pedal rep. That's how the difference was massive. And, um, you know, that, it goes to show like the difference between like a, someone like Felix and someone like me. Um, I was like... <laughs> yes, Felix. <laughs> Do you think this would change then if I had the uh, training difficulty on a different level? I think this sprint workout would benefit if I had a different training difficulty. Or, or not. What do you reckon? 100%. No, okay. <coughs> I'll leave it as it is then. <laughs> no choice, we're not doing a race. We're racing tonight. We're racing tonight about half seven British time. 
uh, which I know is early morning for you. So, yeah, you're right, you're right, Ruben. <laughs> yeah, Chris Aubrey, the master, well, fastest guy in the UK, isn't it? That's, that's his, that's his punch, well, I don't know if it's his punchline, but it's definitely a punchline people have used. The fastest guy in the UK. Not uphill, though. <laughs> Well, but actually, maybe he is the fastest guy in the UK uphill, but it has to be 200 metres. <laughs> I'm joking. Oh, I try. That sounds filthy, that does. Okay, well, well, we'll try that sprint idea at the end of these, at the end of these last two that we've got now. We'll, we'll have a, we'll have a look and see what happens. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try one gear up. I'm gonna try 53.14 now for this, and see what difference it makes. Here we go. Actually, the ride on Felix. to plateau sooner look at that that's interesting that wasn't so bad was it it wasn't actually that far off well there's more power but it's more like a there's less of a stuff to the start of that little spike um, and it's like it reaches that flat line quicker and then holds it there so it's not so bad a little trick I've been picking up on yeah Keith that's exactly what I was just about to say so the trick that I picked up on is that you prep yourself by getting into the position of the sprint ready and then you kind of brace your lats, your back, your arms and you get and your core, obviously you get yourself ready and take a couple of deep breaths and then you just snap into it. So it's, uh, it's definitely like a preparation sensation rather than a yeah you can train sprints in very underneath the areas so what you, what you what you could do is an undulating hey look Kira Kira's giving me a ride on <laughs> Kira's the uh, Kira's, Kira's the rider they went to um, they went to multiple worlds and uh, track championships with uh, with GB for Team Pursuit. And L Lewis, her partner, is the uh, big track sprinter or ex track sprinter. So thanks for the ride on, Kira. Hey, cheers, Bradley. Enjoy your run, bud. Enjoy your run. So yeah. It's 
So we've got one more of these. Come on, Neil. We've got one more of these now in uh, four minutes. Same, um, same idea. Um, if you haven't already, try one gear up. So I tried the first one at 53, 53 13. Um, now if you've got a 52, then 50, 52, 13 is still pretty good. If you're in the 50, so if you've got a 50 big chain ring, you probably look in, if, if it was me, I'd go down to maybe 50, 12, or even even a 50, 11, but that would be your biggest gear then. Um, so what I'm doing, or what I did for the first sprint of this set, was I did 53, 13, didn't really get a huge spike in it and it took me a while to get over that gear but the 50, 53, 14 was, was just nice um, so we're going to try, we're going to try the 13 again uh, and see, see if I've learned anything in the space of 14 minutes <laughs> definitely Niels, that's what we're training for video coming out tonight Ed mode at Commonwealth Games. <coughs> so it wouldn't be a bad thing if Well Cycling picked me up to do Commonwealth Games in 2022. Um, especially if it's a hilly one. But I don't know what the criteria is. Sometimes the criteria is like you have to be riding for a professional continental team or above. They won't take like an amateur. Amateur, whatever you want to call, I don't even know what what you prefer to it as, but Birmingham, well, it's not going to be hilly, is it? <laughs> Thank you, Ian. Um, we'll work on it. We'll send lots of emails. <laughs> yeah, Keith. You'll be alright tonight. You'll be alright tonight. I don't think I'll be laying it down on that climb. I'm gonna, I'm gonna watch what people are doing. I think everybody will just be looking at me. I feel so. Um, maybe I'll just not do anything. We'll see how it pans out. It's always difficult. It's the first time we've done, the first race we've done with that level of field that is that hilly. I guess you know that amount of strength and depth. As long as uh, Kirch doesn't show up, we'll be alright, I reckon. Or Polly. <laughs> yes, John. Alright. We're going to set ourselves up for this last one. Which had electronic ears. I know Josh, but I haven't even signed up yet, so that doesn't mean much to it. Okay. Here we go. So that took us longer to get up to, didn't it? That took us longer to get up to. As you can probably see, if Boniface is riding, we're going to take it to him. <laughs> um, as you can probably see from that sprint, 
I really struggle. And this is what you would generally get with somebody like myself who's built with a stick. Is that hold in, hold in myself. Hold in myself. Like when we do those big efforts, I'm still I'm using my body to drive it. Whereas, as you see with like track sprinters or um, you know, well, stronger sprinters, when they hit when they hit those standing starts, they are like they're locked out, so they don't <laughs> T-Rex boxing. <laughs> So they don't, there's no like, there's no collapsing, do you know what I mean? They're just like solid and just driving from the hips and pushing down. So that's what we lack at the minute. <laughs> I know we're moving, I know. Me and Charlie love bowling. We love it. We haven't been for ages for obvious reasons. But um, if there's ever like a... Sometimes, you know, when you go like, oh, let's go to the cinema, sometimes you go like, oh, let's have a boulder in there, you know? Morning, Ali. Yeah, drive the hips, drive the hips. Um, <coughs> I don't do strength work. Thanks for riding on, Keith. <laughs> I don't normally do strength work, what you dissociate with strength work. Um, because strength work, I think, is different for lots of um, lots of different cyclists and what they want to train for. And so, someone like a climber, you obviously don't want to build. So, what I work on more is stability, mobility. So. It's being stable in certain areas. So you want to be mobile at the ankle. So that obviously helps. You want to be stable in the knee. It doesn't matter so much in terms of cycling, but when you think about your pedal stroke, if your knees go in, then you might need to work on doing lunges with a band that, that kind of forces that mind-muscle connection to have the knee tracking straight. So it's things like, you know, the mobility and the, the flexibility and then the stability side of it that I work on more than, you know, kind of do 50 press up sort of thing. Um, it's more so like, can I hold... <laughs> and so to me. Get out of the way! Something I want to experiment with, I don't want to experiment with it in the next couple of years because I feel like in the next couple of years it's, it's my little window of opportunity to go really fast uphill. So I don't want to experiment with it then, but more like when I'm in my 30s, I do want to experiment with more strength training and more um, conditioning, um, more power work to see how I can develop other areas um, because most people know you know my 20 minute my one hour power you know they're, they're all you know quite high so if I was to dedicate a couple of years to doing gym work strength work you know sprinting short climbs you know punchy but could I change, not so much change my whole physiology, but could I change to be, you know, almost like, almost like a, like a Valverde rider where, you know, you can do, you know, you can do massive power and, and, and ride with the sprinters and you can also climb with Grand Tour riders. So something that I'm thinking of experimenting with when I'm in my 30s. Um, you know, just to see how it affects, you know, but the next, the next few years, you know, for the, for the foreseeable future, you know, it's all going to be hill climbing because that, that's my window of opportunity at the minute, you know, this is the prime window of opportunity.
Oh, Keith, that's a line up there, eh? Alright, we've got one minute. Well, we end in one minute. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to do a big sprint. Natural cadence and everything. <laughs> Cheers, Zach. Alright, so when that timer kicks down to to 15 seconds, we're going to go for one. There you go, 10 seconds. This is it, this is a one-off sprint now. About 10 seconds sprint, 10, 15 seconds sprint. There you go. I was actually gonna end the workout. <laughs> Epic. Oh, right, well, we'll do it again now. We'll do it again. Ready? Okay, when we get to one hour, one minute, ready? Here we go. 10 seconds. Four, three, two, one. That was like an eight second sprint. How are we doing? 813. <laughs> Not bad. <laughs> but, but, so was the cadence alright? What was the cadence like? It felt, it felt weird. It's not like, it's still not natural. The cadence is like, I didn't want to change gear, because I know if I changed gear, I'd bog down a little bit and then I wouldn't be able to... No, I'm not trying another one. I'm not trying another one. That's it. We're gonna the the main thing is we do them and then we do them and do them and do them so we, we make them um, consistent. I think if we if we just do if we just like fill a session full of sprints and then I can't do sprints on Thursday, I wanna do the minimum effective dose. We're not doing one more. We're not doing one more. Stop asking for it. <laughs> one more, one more, one more, one more. Anyway. Yeah, definitely, Zach, definitely. Uh, that's what I explained, like, it's different in a race, isn't it? I'd say Cam is, Cam is a sprinter. I'd say Cam is a sprinter. He, he's like... What, what he's got is, like, the opposite of me, basically. So when you look at my power duration, it goes like that, and Cam's goes kind of like like that so it drops to a lower number so his FTP is lower than his sprint his sprint is his strength his limiters are his, uh, is his FTPs um, and 20 minute effort whereas with me it's the other way around so it's like flipping we're both exactly you know exact opposite yeah Mick I was thinking of doing that for our next uh, for our next meetup. I was thinking of getting us all together to do some sprints, um, and we could have some sprints for you know actual banners. Um, we can have different lengths. So if somebody wants to go early, we can just chase them and go early. I've got. I see, I'm done. I'm done now. Okay. Yeah. Only an hour. 
134. Oh, but I'm holding 120. That's all right, isn't it? That's good. Cheers, Sam. Thanks. Thanks, Keith, as well. 129. I see that. Yeah, that's right, yeah. Take care, Bryn. Look after yourself. Don't push yourself too hard. <laughs> right, guys, I'm going to call that. I'm going to call it. Let's have a look at the graph. Not that we're going to see much on it, but we'll have a look at it anyway. Another thing that's letting me down... Cheers, Keith. Um, another thing that's let me down is the fact that I don't have the mat. Um, I don't have a mat to. So we have got a yoga mat, but I'm probably just using excuses. But the sticky floor is something I don't have uh, at the minute, and we just we've just got a wooden floor, so that's not ideal. I got seven nine five five second. Eight four three max. That's pretty close. Look, pretty well. Forty watts, give or take, between them all. So it's. So I wasn't quite doing 15 second sprints. <laughs> the power drops off after 13 seconds. But um, that's okay, that is. That's 13 second sprints. My best ever runs with the 787. And these are 730. So 50 watt. Well, 60 watt. Give or take. Between them. But that best ever sprint would have been a one off. It probably would have been in a race, whereas this, these sprints are back to back to back. Chris, what these max watts? Um, I can't remember what they are. I'm pretty sure they're over fifteen hundred. They must be. Yeah, they've got to be over fifteen hundred. So yeah, I mean, um, not much to say really, is there? I'm happy with that. Obviously, those are lower. These are higher because they were more natural sprints, and then that one was a complete natural sprint. But 831 was the max in that last one. So we were only 12 watts off max for the session based off the third one we did. So. Yeah, they, they hit 2,000 with their eyes closed, don't they, Zach? I've, I've seen, um, well, I've heard stories as well, but I've just seen it. It's amazing um, what, ha what they can do. Look at that, burn through two pizza slices. It's hardly any work. Brilliant. All right. I'm going to love you and leave you now. Uh, I'm going to see you later this evening, hopefully, uh, for a really good race at the Innsbruck KOM and then uh, finishing in the town so see you this evening or whenever you're free but uh, I hope you don't miss it tonight alright uh, have a good day and thanks for watching